Hello long riders, welcome to Everything Fly Fishing where we bring you tying videos, instruction videos that help you catch more fish every time you're on the water. And if you're new here, make sure you click down at the bottom, there's a red subscribe down here at the bottom. Make sure you click that so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. So you could just do just that, catch more fish when you're on the water. In this video, we are going to show you how to tie a spinner. We were on the water yesterday and there was spinners and uh, we're going to add a little different color to the spinner there was uh, all kinds of different colors of spinners coming down but well, we'll discuss that at the end of the video and uh, let's show you our version of the spinner right now let's get to the voice I'm going to start this fly debar by debarbing the hook, and this is a standard size 14 dry fly hook. Now you could tie in 70 black denier thread, or well, you can use a different denier. I like that really fine thread, so it doesn't build up bulk. We're going to use 70 denier black thread and tie that all the way back to the bend of the hook. Now we're going to use a ganza for the tail. And I don't know, I tie in about five, I about, yeah, here I use five uh, fibers. And we're going to measure them and make them longer than the shank of the hook. We're just about a uh, shank and a half, like just a little bit longer. So I noticed in these these spinners were coming down their tails seem to be a little bit longer than normal and they become almost clear opaque color so this organza will really good do a good job at imitating the tails Now one thing I like to do different, a little bit different on mine is I put one thread wrap underneath the tail and it makes it stick up at an angle like that. And that's kind of how they look like the foot when they're dead, floating down on top of the water. Now what we're going to do is we got some of this white poly yarn and we're going to take that and we're going to split that in half. And then we're going to take some organza about, I don't know, I put a lot in here, probably about 20 strands of organza and mix it in. And that'll give that white yarn, floatable yarn, that poly yarn that floats, it'll give it that shine. Now, the reason I didn't use straight organza is I tied up spinners, as you can remember, a while back on, our sh on this channel. And they floated well, except for the first time you caught a fish. And it was hard to get them to float again. So I'm going to add this floatable yarn in there and that'll give extra floatable material and the and uh, this we're using the floating uh, dubbing so that'll help too now what we're doing here is we're just figuring it and going around and around and around and if you want more details on how to put, do a figure eight and all that in this winter when I release my courses buy my courses and I'll go through more high de you know detailed definitions on how exactly how to do this but you just figure it and that gets your wings to stand up or well actually lay flat they're not gonna stand up now what you're gonna do here is pull all that wing material you just tied in all straight up in the air all together and then you're going to cut it off just a little bit longer than a typical wing. So you're going to make it just a little hair longer than a hook shank. And you can cut that off and that will make all that material at one length. Okay, now for this we're going to use we didn't, didn't use rusty brown because the spinners we seen coming down the water were not a rusty brown color. 
So I came, I looked looked at him, came home, and looked through my dubbing box and found mahogany brown. Mahogany red. Mahogany red. And it is a really dark red, and it really will mimic what I seen on the water last night. So that's what I encourage you to do. Figure out what kind of dubbing you want to use. But we're going to go back to the back where we left off the tail. And we're going to dub this. And we're going to dub this all the way up to the eye of the hook. With mahogany brown. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do over top twice with the dubbing to make a build a little thorax. And then I'm going to take the little bit of dubbing out past the wing to the eye of the hook. Now we build it up a little head. We're going to whip finish it. I put these two whip finishes in it. Don't need no head cement. So that's what I did, and that's it. That's the fly. Hey, I hope you're still awake. You're still here with me. Let's, now that we tied this amazing fly, let's take a closer look at this amazing fly. It's really incredible. It's going to catch a lot of fish. Take a look. Like magic weeds, its trail is a cup you see till you fall asleep. And sometimes, even then, well, the cobwebs. Hey, I hope you liked that video. And I want to thank all you people for subscribing to our channel. We are past 1500, and that's amazing. Never thought we'd get that far. And if you haven't subscribed, you want to subscribe. Trust me, you'll watch our channel for a little while and you will teach, learn to catch more fish. So let's all subscribe if you're new here right now. Get like, give it a thumbs up, and comment if you have a fly you want to see. We were supposed to do a, uh, a subscriber's video that he wanted to see, but uh, these spinners came up and it was like, a, I think it was a like Cahill or a gray ghost or something that's later in the season so well, we'll get to it bud don't worry we're gonna cover your fly too and I want you to know that we've seen black ones of these and um, so you, you want to tie like black and uh, rusty brown and uh, and go to you when you see us you're out now the spinner fall usually is really late so it's like almost dark when the spinner fall comes and that little white poly yarn will help it float better but also help me see it better the um, other ones I tied really did float well like I said they sunk after a fish hit them but I couldn't see them so I was kind of guessing but I did catch one on it and uh, we caught I caught five the other day so we had a pretty good Penn's Creek day here's the problem we're doing a lot of night fishing so um, we can't Get the, the cameras just won't pick up. I mean, I have video of them five fish, but it's almost so dark you can't see it. So I think what we're gonna have to do is upgrade our video editor to a more expensive, better version of light grading. So maybe I can do something that, or shoot it in RAW and go later. But we can't shoot in RAW to make the videos. But we're gonna get all that. We're gonna make videos better. So we always are constantly upgrading our video equipment and stuff to make videos better for you so don't go anywhere just don't go anywhere stay here subscribe there's gonna be a button appearing in here somewhere that will tell you be a picture of me you can subscribe there you can see videos from earlier in these series we covered everything from midges to 
where we're at now with March Browns. You want to check them out. And also you can check out a video just for you. So you all have a good day. And thank you for watching. Keep your lines wet out of trees and only give them fish a sore lip.